So I never thought I'd be doing an unboxing video, but I have some reasons here to do an unboxing video with this. First of all, you can see it's from Arbor Scientific. It says cool stuff in clothes, so of course we'll want to open it. And also this is a kit for teachers to make their own space-time simulator, the thing I used in the gravity visualized uh, viral video. So now you can just order this as a kit from Arbor and in no time be doing uh, an engaging uh, interactive demonstration with your students about gravity and orbits and general relativity and all the other things you can do with this. And so I'm not a pro at unboxing. This one's a very long box as you can see. And uh, I'll rip it open here. I do have some scissors if I need it. Uh, it looks like this is sort of the top of the box. Make sure I don't cut the fabric here since it represents space-time. I don't want to have a rip in the fabric of space-time. Uh, and here's some stuff. So we have uh, the instructions and some random parts. Looks like some marbles. And then we have there's something heavy in here. So it looks like uh, it's just a shipping invoice, some paper, there's something heavy in here though. And wrapped pretty securely and it is a large chrome, almost looks like a bocce ball and so that's kind of nice to include that as a way to bend the fabric of space-time to be an analogy with gravity. And then we have our fabric. It's uh, black. And then we have some, looks like vinyl pipes, not PVC. Maybe some of it's PV PVC. And looks like um, ways to assemble it here. And so I am going to uh, lay the equipment out and assemble it and you can watch that. Okay, I've laid out what came in the box on the floor here. I have a Ziploc bag with instructions and uh, take a quick look at it. I think we can do this without the instructions but they'll be good to have. You can see I have never put this together before. It's all in its original rubber band. Maybe I should pay attention to how it's put together. Now I think I'll use bungee cords to hold it together once I'm done assembling it. So, bending the fabric of space-time. Nice. Easier than the one I have, but it's way less material. Uh, it seems fine. It's a little lower, but that'd be good for uh, little kids. It's definitely fine for taller people. They can see well. Uh, and so I give it thumbs up. $199 Arbor Scientific Gravity Well. Okay, I've got it all set up and I have some things that aren't included with the kit, but are not uh, uncommon to be found in a high school physics classroom, or you could easily get um, 
first one are, uh, these are called colliding spheres. Uh, Arbor sells them as well. What's really cool is if you bang them together on a piece of paper, they burn a hole in it. So it's a good way to show kinetic energy going to thermal energy. But I use them with gravity just to show here's space time. There's curved space time. They both feel the curvature of space time produced by each other. And it mimics as a force of attraction, but it's really just they're following the curvature of space time. So this works well for that demo. And this is the mass that comes with it. And another popular demo is to show uh, the Earth Moon system. So, Earth Moon. See the orange marble also bends space time, and the moon feels that more strongly because it's closer to it. And so, the moon, let's see if that one works. Yeah. And so, the moon usually can get it going around, it takes a few tries, but there we go. And so, that demo works pretty well with the Arbor Gravity Well. Um, this next one, this is what I do first when I set it up to adjust that the tension in the fabric is good. So I put two masses. These are one kilogram masses. They don't show well on the black. Uh, if you're here live, they show fine, but you could easily color them or put some tape on them or something to make, make them show better. And so I want to show um, an orbit between the two. So these are maybe two equal mass stars going around in a circle orbiting their center of mass and they're going so slow we don't see it. Or sometimes I talk about this is the Earth Moon system and it's just going so slow we don't see it. I'm going to launch from Earth to the Moon and so I launch like that so the orbit goes in a figure eight around it. And so when I see that happen I know I have the fabric tension adjusted well that I can get a nice figure eight. It takes a little practice. So he gets a lot of interesting behavior. Uh, the other sort of go-to demo is formation of the solar system. Here I'm going to put a two kilogram mass on. That might be too much for this. And so the one kilogram seemed to be working just fine. And so at least at this initial stage, I would recommend you use one kilogram masses like it's okay with two, it's just kind of pushing it. And so formation of the solar system, we had uh, particles in the solar nebula going around in different directions, also in different planes, but this is a two-dimensional uh, simulation. And so I'm going to make the black ones go counterclockwise, the orange ones go clockwise. And so the initial chaos in the formation of the solar system, but when it's all said and done, all the planets orbit the same way. Why? Because they're just what's left over. Uh, there were things going the other way and also how they play. And so I'm going to have to give another thumbs up for the performance of this. It does uh, all the demos uh, I like to do with this. It may not stand up real well if you let the students sort of explore and experiment unless you put down some uh, uh, tight rules on it, but I would definitely let them play around with it. Uh, I would just maybe limit it to about one kilogram masses. Okay, another demo has nothing, well, it's sort of got stuff to do with gravity, right? Uh, it's more of an inertia demo, trying to recreate the popular fall leaves demo where a trapeze artist landed into a net full of leaves. So I did this before with my space-time simulator or gravity well, covering it with coins. Then I dropped a large weight in the middle and the coins sort of looked like they were hovering uh, in slow-mo. Didn't have any coins, so I put nuts out here. Uh, they'll probably work. Well, this is the first time I've done it, uh, but it's just another demo. What I'm debating is whether to drop the two kilogram mass or the one kilogram mass. You'll uh, see the results. I'm just gonna do it once, uh, but this is another fun one to show uh, with this uh, equipment if you have it.
One more demo here. This is a gravity wave demo. I have a scrap piece of board, a couple of caster wheels, a bolt that goes into the drill, and so it spins. And so these are black holes spinning around each other, emitting gravitational waves, and I'm gonna go underneath and generate them from below. So to summarize my uh, take on the Arbor Scientific Gravity Well, uh, it does everything the one I own does. Uh, it's a lot less troubled uh, rather than going to the hardware store and assembling all the parts. Uh, it's a great size. Uh, it packs down into a smaller volume. The fabric's really good. And so I give it a good recommendation, especially for the $199 price and that it comes with a nice uh, wait for the middle of it. Uh, I still think it's worth uh, building your own and so if you're interested in that uh, I have a link down in the uh, video description uh, to a do-it-yourself video I made showing how to make your own and you can also get those links by clicking up here in the upper right. Um, as far as uh, using the Arbor One, it's uh, large, uh, sits a little lower than mine but everybody can see uh, what's going on. Uh, it would hold up to student use. You might have to be a little more careful with it. I found out that uh, I wouldn't use the til two kilogram masses on it. Uh, if you saw the video where I dropped the mass with the nuts on the fabric, I uh, should have used a one kilogram. It did stand up to the two kilogram, but it, it bottomed out. Uh, and so be careful when you're checking that out. Uh, if you let your students use it, I would set some ground rules as far as how rough it could be. I'd also recommend that maybe you would tape uh, the pipes coming together in the center of it on the floor. That might hold it together well. Uh, but if you've been wanting to do something like this with your class and the expense and time and trouble of making your own has been keeping you from doing it, uh, this is a great solution. I'm really glad Arbor Scientific came out with this. So. Congratulations to them, and I hope they sell a lot of them. Bye.